Officer uh, Joyner. They, when we start talking about there's no recording audio in, in the area of shot spotter, is that audio is only activated when there's a confirmed incident or there's no audio. Is my understanding in some municipalities that audio has been essential in leading to the apprehension of people who were shooting close by or nearby and they could hear? Yes, uh, to answer your question, there's yes and no. Uh, of course, there's audio sensors that are, are constantly recording. It takes a loud bang similar to a gunfire to actually activate the sensor to start recording. Then it also takes three of the sensors in the same area to activate to push to the network. So there's no thing that's impossible. So I guess if you're a super hacker, maybe you might be able to hack into one sensor, but the, it does not capture voices similar to how you hear right now. Now in the event that we have gunfire in this particular area, three sensors go off and you hear people yelling, yes, there will be recordings. There's actually been two documented cases here in the city of Oakland, which the district attorney's office has used for convictions. One was in, in, a, in a, uh, a murder and one was an attempted murder of a police officer. Um, so yes, there are documented cases in that regard, but ShotSpotter has gone through great lengths in terms of privacy to make sure that we're not recording our citizens in public. But yes, if there are the ideal situation, gunshot goes off, three sensors activate, and a person is close enough to the sensor where it can be, you can capture voices. Okay, my last um, point, Mr. Chairman, that when this item comes back, because this is an informational report, if the administration can identify whether or not there are grants, um, whether that's at the federal level that might be able to be in support of offsetting any portion of the cost of ShotSpotter or any other municipalities that have been able to blend that information. And um, specifically, since it's referenced here in terms of the privacy policy, if we can see the privacy policy as it directly relates to the ShotSpotter system. Thank you. Uh, we've learned the high-tech tool police use to pinpoint gunfire can also record your conversations. Chris and Ayers on just how much the shot spotter is really hearing. First, the gunfire. <laughs> then, the final words of a dying man. Right before he was uh, fatally executed, uh, he yelled out uh, the suspect's nickname. We were able to get the suspect identified through that nickname. It's how the shooter, Arlington Johnson, was identified that is making waves four years later. The voice you heard was recorded using this, a shot spotter device designed to detect gunfire. It's very rare that we actually record conversations. Police say the only way a shot spotter can record your voice is if you are standing directly underneath the shot spotter, talking loudly in the critical seconds after a gun has been fired. But privacy advocates say that's not the point. We've been told by OPD for months that it does not record audio. Lo and behold, it records our voices. Brian Hofer, a lawyer for the Oakland Privacy Working Group, claims Oakland police have never publicly confirmed ShotSpotter's ability to record voices until this public safety meeting last week. You can capture voices. Why wasn't OPD clear from the onset of using ShotSpotter about its ability to record voices? I don't believe that we were. I don't believe that we weren't unclear. I believe that at all the public hearings that I've seen, when asked about the technology, we were forthright. It does not capture voices similar to how you hear right now. But Hofer worries there's a culture of secrecy at the police department, as evidenced by OPD's use of a cell phone tapping device called Stingray. The department signed an agreement that prohibits it from talking about Stingray. Bring this stuff out into the open. We know technology is amazing. It's getting better and better. Let us have some input into uh, debating uh, whether it's appropriate. And we have to stress that the shot spotter is not continually recording. Again, it's only activated once three shot spotters in the area pick up on a burst of gunfire. Uh, of course, there's audio sensors that are, are constantly recording. You can capture voices. 
but ShotSpotter has gone through great lengths in terms of privacy to make sure that we're not recording our citizens in public. Uh, of course, there's audio sensors that are, are constantly recording. You can capture voices. And, um, specifically, since it's referenced here in terms of the privacy policy, if we can see the privacy policy as it directly relates to the SAT spider system. Thank you. Uh, of course, there's audio sensors that are, are constantly recording. You can capture voices.